everyone uh, today we are going to talk about um, system verilog uh, before going into the topic system verilog we'll just uh, uh, discuss about the design flow which we are using in the vlsi field and then we'll go into the topic so in vlsi design flow we are having two different parts uh, we can say it is a two main parts like front end design flow and back end design flow when we put these two design flows together it will allow us to create the functional chip from scratch to protection so these are the two di different design flows we have and um, when we talk about the back end flow it doesn't have any relationship with the verilog or any other coding language it is only responsible for the physical implementation of the circuit so main phases we are having in this back end are synthesis place and route now uh, we'll talk about the front end design flow so here uh, in this front end design flow we are using um, all the verification and coding parts so all the verification or coding programming languages will come under this front end part and uh, as our topic is system verilog we are also going to use the system verilog in this front end flow only front end flow and uh, this particular design where uh, system verilog we are using for the verification purpose because we are having some additional features implementation everything in this particular uh, language so we are using it the system verilog in the verification uh, purpose so uh, when we are talking about this system verilog or verilog or any other hdl language uh, which is a hardware description language some question comes to our mind like uh, why we are not using c or c++ uh, in this uh, vlsi field why because these are uh, all uh, c c++ perl and tickle or the sequential languages which means all the codes in this particular uh, sequence in this particular uh, c c++ will execute sequentially not parallelly but uh, in this vlsi wheel we need some language which will work in concurrent mode if you take this example here we'll be having uh, three input uh, a b and c uh we and we have to and gate so the so if we want to perform this operation and we need to get the output z means this uh or gate needs to perform which is the output which for which we need output from this two and gate if we are getting this and gate uh sequentially like first we are getting the output uh, d and after some time we are getting the output of e then it won't work fine right we won't get the perfect output for this uh, we need some a language which will work parallelly and will get the output and uh, uh, d and e will go into the this r gate and will get the desired output c for this purpose in this vlsi field we need some language which will work concurrently which is parallelly so this uh, hardware description language will fulfill our need for this uh, vlsi field that's why we are using hardware description language instead of c or c++ um now okay now we'll see what is a verilog and what is a system verilog briefly so system verilog is nothing but as i said is it is a sequential as well as concurrent language it is mainly used to design the integrated circuit in the register transfer level basically we need some uh, coding language to design our uh, chip or circuit everything right for that we are using this uh, verilog language even we have some uh, we can verify or we can test using this verilog code but it is not that much accurate or uh, efficient that's why uh, we have some extended version of this verilog nothing but system verilog where we can verify implement or test very effectively and accurately okay so as i said it is the extension of system verilog with many features we have many features in the system verilog we'll see one by one in the upcoming uh, sessions okay so for uh, whatever the complexities we have in the design we can verify it through this system verilog code the next question is why we have moved from verilog to system verilog uh, as i said we have many um, extra features in the system verilog than in the verilog uh, in verilog it is used to structure and model the electronic system structure in the sense we are using we are going to uh, represent or uh, give the circuit diagram and then for modeling in the sense we are going to code that particular circuit but in system verilog we can structure model design stimulate 
test and implement the electronic system all these things we can do in the system verilog that's why we are going from uh, verilog to system verilog uh, uh, now yeah so as i said the system verilog we are having a testing purpose which is uh, for verifying right so we'll just uh, have a brief explanation about what is verification in the vlsi field then we can know where we are exactly using this very uh, system verilog so what is verification in the vlsi field in a sense uh, normally verification means we need to test some uh, test something and we need to get the desired output we'll be checking the output is uh, what we are expected one or not right so it is a pre silicon process of checking the functionality of the design by stimulating it predictive analysis to ensure that the synthesized will perform the given input function or not predictive analysis in the sense we'll be having some uh, expected outputs we need to write some code to execute um, the pop execute the flow of the design and we need to verify whether we are getting the proper output that is expected output or not that is the basic concept of this verification in this vlsi field and in this vlsi flow the verification engineers will work with the design team so when we are getting the specifications the rtl people design people and the verification people will start working at the same time uh design people will architect the designs and they will start coding the design uh, all the circuits and the verification people will um, write the test bench according to the specification when the rtl rtl people done with their uh, um uh, design codes they will give the they will provide those database into the design verification people and they will start connecting that design unit into their uh, test bench and they'll and then they will start verifying for this verification only we are using this system verilog concept so system verilog for verification in this uh, now we know for verifying the particular ip or design we need some test bench architecture uh, to make it work for that test bench architecture we are using the system verilog concept and we are going to connect this design and a test with the test bench architecture to find the correctness of the functionality this verification environment can be written by using system verilog now we came to know like in design vlsi design flow we are having two main parts um front end and back end and in the front end we are having the verification purpose and in that verification purpose we are using we need some test bench architecture so where we are using the system some of the features we have these, very lock so but we have is having constraint and additions in the system very lock properties functional coverage assertion synchronization and improved data types all these features and details we we'll, uh, see each each one of them in detailed manner in the upcoming session thank you for watching this video